second year student and it was a completely life-changing experience. I spent three months living with it while the work was going on uh, behind it to disassemble the wall, uh, make it into a single solid slab so that it could physically be moved without anything uh, breaking up. Um, it was a totally original project. Nobody had ever tried to do anything like it before or, or since, I believe. There are some things here that I'm responsible for. I made, I made some of this stuff, this piece here with a little frame several of those elements had disappeared. We knew they'd been there, we had photographic records, but I had to make them, and various other bits and pieces. I've, I've cut bits off it and stuck, it, stuck them back together again. I've rebuilt bits of it. I feel intimately connected with it in a way I think I don't feel connected to any other work of art. It's a very curious sensation, but a very welcome one to come back here and visit it again from time to time. The Hatton Gallery is a very central part of the education of the people who go through this department, as I did and many others have done. It's also a public venue. It's a, it has a collection. It has this in its collection, which is very remarkable for, the, for a gallery this size. It's got uh, uh, an accumulated set of works across a broad range. It's able to contain and present exhibitions from a wide variety of sources. It's got quite an eclectic approach and it's made a big contribution to the understanding of, of art, of contemporary art in this city and much more widely. <music>